Folks used to see and hear this guy on WMAZ. And then they watched him steer the Mercer Bears as their AD. A man of vision, a man who leads, and a man we all call friend. My only question on this night, will his speech ever end? Here is Bobby Pope. This is Bobby Pope, ladies and gentlemen. down. I hope I can see. First, I want to thank God and my Savior, Jesus Christ, for this great honor. My mother, who passed away in 2006, followed me up. I made the comment one time, I had been lucky in life. She said, no, you've been blessed. And I have been blessed. I was blessed to work at WMAZ for 21 years. I was blessed to work at Mercer for 31 years. Now, I don't know how I'm going to read this because I can't hardly see it, but you're going to have to bear with me. And if that music goes off, tough break. <laughs> I was blessed with so many people that I worked with at WMAZ, Frank Red Cross, Calder, Crowther, Albert Sanders, Howard Absalom, who gave me my first job, paying me $100 a week on November 1st, 1964. And I was also want to thank Billy Sowell and Bill Tribble at Mercer. I worked for the best president in America, Kirby Godsey. And I worked for Emily Myers. And Emily is not wrong many times. I don't know if she's ever been wrong. Ask her, but she has been a, she has been a mentor, I can assure you. And I want to tell you about Bill Bibb, who I worked with. Bill went into the Atlantic Sun Hall of Fame probably four years ago, and his wife, Linda, wrote a tribute to him. And she said, Bill spoke two languages, English and profanity. And I can attest to that. I've been blessed with so many great friends, and many of them are here tonight. Roger and Tony Murphy, Daryl and Susan Jones, my good friend Tommy Madden, who came all the way from Taos, New Mexico, to be here tonight. Bill and Jan Buckley, George Jovan, and they were my roommates for television broadcast in the mid-1970s. Also, Jim Fain, Frank and Shirley Sherling, Steve Dennis, Donnie and Esther Meeks, Robert Park, both, both Robert and Donnie are members of my social club on Wednesday night. Russ and Doug Head, Henry Gwynn and Hank Harrington, Chris and Beth Merman, Leon Simmons, Brad and Shannon Bibb, Jean and Jim McClure, Jamie Kaplan, Brenda Clyatt, my Macon Sports Hall of Fame families, and my Macon Touchdown Club families, and Bill Shanks, who nominated me for this prestigious award. Also, my Mercer colleagues and coaches and players, the late Betty Farr, Elaine Batty, Barry Myers, Rob Myers, Jay and Tanya Stroman, Jeff Stewart, Kenny Darty, Craig Gibson, and Brad Russo. And also want to mention Susie Gardner. I hired all three of those coaches. They're the only three coaches that made the NCAA tournament in Mercer in the last couple of years. Also, I want to mention Myra and Rick Cameron and Sybil Blaylock. And without Sybil and Myra, you don't have an athletic department in Mercer. They run the show and helped me so much during my career. I want to thank Mark and Kathy Sloniker, Jason Payne, who came from a golf tournament in South Carolina to be with us tonight. Also,
Dennis and Talisa Hansen, and the best basketball player who ever played at Mercer, Sam Mitchell and his wife Dawn, who are here tonight. And you don't know how much I appreciate them coming to be with us. I'm also blessed to have had my grade school coach, James Dawkins, and my high school coach, Jim Cavan, as mentors. And my supportive family, my sisters, Marie Wire and Susan McNeely, and her husband, Tom, who's also my mother, brother-in-law, of course, and my brother and sister-in-law, John and Suzanne Malloy. I want to thank for my children, Chrissy, Russell, Knighton, Andy and Jen, and most of all, the love of my life for 49 years, Carol. Thank you for this great honor. My children had a bet that I couldn't get through this without crying. I did it. <laughs> But let me, let me say this, they had a bet that I couldn't do it. Of course, they gave me a 70th birthday party. I paid for it. Thank you so much.